What's up guys, uh, we just recently got a state of play update for Ghosts of Tsushima. It's a game coming out next month, action adventure, looks pretty sick, and uh, apparently we got a ton of gameplay, so I wanted to check it out with you guys. Here we Hello go. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. All right, here we go, man. This is gonna be a big release this year. I honestly don't know too much about it. I'm excited for it, I wanna check it out. But obviously it's not really a part of a series, it's kind of a new entity, so not really sure what to expect. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Okay. Big open world. Huge open world. Use the guiding wind to navigate the island? Okay. Got the horses in the back. Dude, look at the ships off in the distance and stuff. I mean, this is beautiful. Keep in mind, I am, I'm screen capping the YouTube video that's playing at 1080, 60, so it's not gonna be perfect. But, I mean, you guys get the gist. I'll link the full main video down in the description if you guys want to check it out yourself. Call a gust of wind at any time to point you in the right direction. See, I like that. Rather than having like a pop-up on the HUD, 350 meters away, giant yellow icon or something like that. It's a little bit more intuitive. Call on the powers of the wind. This is cool, dude. Mongol territory, uh-oh. The Guiding Wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game, like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd-shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no more. So we're definitely going for a, a little bit more immersive of a thing, you know what I mean? This is actually what the game looks like. There's essentially no HUD. I don't know if this is what... It, there's probably going to be a little bit more on there when you're actually playing, but... That's cool that they're they're trying to stay away from... Icons and pop-ups and ooh, look at this bird look up look up for some help gonna bring us Bring us to our objective What you doing sir stay away my lord the spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest Looks like we're gonna go check that out Let's go Nobu Somebody broke in here. I'm trying to see some sword play, bro. So 
So he's been picking up stuff like bamboo, certain types of wood, linen, supplies, probably gonna be some crafting and stuff. Into the fox den. Becoming one with the animals. Foxes will guide Jin to hidden shrines across the island. And, uh, wow. Looks like somebody was sacrificed. We just gonna ignore the body that was, <laughs> that was back behind us? Activating shrines is gonna get us charm slots. I'm sure those charms are gonna give us different powers. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore the, the dead body there. No big deal. Once you visit the location... Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just Aww. the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, Bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Dude, this is like a, a samurai assassin's creed or something. You know what I mean? Adventure, oh, exploration. Second. Scouring the earth. A little bit of combat in between. This is going to be cool. Definitely a different vibe and setting than we see for a lot of games. And it's beautiful. No doubt about that. Ooh, look at that. Jin, the samurai, our main character. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what your boy wanted. Look at that kit he's got, bro. Look at that outfit. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Fight me! This is cool. Standoffs. Well, let's get after. Ooh. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of squirting blood. Okay. Looks like we've got a, a bow and arrow on our back, too, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. Gotta have that accuracy. Ooh, look at that bullet drop, bro. That arrow drop. Okay, so the combat's gonna be really time-based. You gotta be able to time your parries and your blocks and your your counters and stuff like that. Still limited HUD. You can see a little bit of a health bar, but it's it's pretty, in, you know, kind of brings you into the game. Makes you feel like you're there. Not too arcadey. Pretty realistic. Dude, those are. This is brutal. You can hear the slicing of the skin, bro. <laughs> Dust that blood off, bro. I want to keep my blade clean. Give him a little bow. Jin the ghost. Uh-oh. Gonna have some stealth aspect to it, too. Okay. That last one, he walked in like so the Terminator. So fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. Ah. Even using fear as a weapon. Okay. So we can use distractions. We can use stealth. 
We can assassinate, that sort of thing. Okay. Yes, sir. In the armpit and then under the chin, bro. Are you kidding me? So this is dishonorable. So you're gonna have like a good and a bad thing. You can be like a straight up honorable samurai, you know, even battlefield, even playing field, face-to-face -face combat, or you can get get super, uh, super stealthy here, which to be honest, I kind of like better. Do something with the horses here. Oh, he's not gonna set this on fire, is he? Firecrackers. Oh! <laughs> the double assassination. Bro, I thought he was gonna set the stable on fire or something, but that was way better. Dude, this is, this is gonna be sick. Gonna wait for the opportunity. Nope, they saw us. Ooh, little smoke bomb action, all right. Make quick work of that big brute. Wow. Straight to the neck, bro. Look at these guys. They're running. 1,000%. The Mongols will learn to fear the ghost. Use that to your advantage. 1,000% I'm going to be a ghost. No doubt about it. Your boy's going to walk up in the club and they're all going to go scattering. What is that, for a grappling hook? Yes, sir. Hit him with the long range shot. He ain't ready for it, good night. Dude, this is, this is gonna be a fun game. I'm ready for something like this, man. Look at this, hardcore parkour, those jumps and spots, baby. Can get around the enemies. Don't have to take them all on. Straight on, dude. Playing as a ghost is the way to go. Now we just have to destroy this. He gone. Oh. Time to get out of here. That's not going to end well for them. Torch the whole thing. Let's go. Customizing gin. All right, let's see what kind of fits we can get up in here. This is looking pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen play Oof, style. I like that. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's right. always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them, and you can change the color of an armor. So That's cool. You get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. Okay. Dude, look at I just look at the the scale of this world. These enormous forests and stuff it wouldn't be a sucker punch game if it didn't have photo fields mode. with in our new photo mode we have features such as color grading depth of field so you can focus on the right objects we have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement that's so great about our game you can control the wind's direction the speed you can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies wow 
You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. I mean, I don't know that I would really use this that much. Maybe for, like, thumbnails are going to be on point for sure. But this is, for somebody who wants to kind of, you know, make some machinima and stuff, that's pretty dope. Japanese voice track. This is brutal. A Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. I mean, it could be interesting, but I don't know if that's for your boy. Samurai Cinema. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Again, pretty cool. I wouldn't... I don't think I would use that. But this... I mean, this is dope. Let's be real. But a fruit ninja you up, bro! Dude, the sounds coming out of some of these punctures and slices. Insane. This is gonna be a fun new adventure, dude. This, I mean, like, like I said, this this whole samurai setting isn't something you see a ton of, especially like massive open Today, world games. We've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai, or assassinate as the ghost, or customize Jin or play in special ways. But we have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you Dude, we're so close. much for watching today. We'll see you later. Couple months away. This looks good, dude. It's definitely been on my list. We're definitely gonna be checking this out when it comes out. Quite a few big games coming out before then, but uh, I'm excited for it, and you guys have to let me know what you think. I'm excited to uh, to embark on a new samurai adventure with you guys. So, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you guys later.